Hi everyone. Today I want to show the three feature improvement to our GraphQL server. The first feature is uh, blocks collection, blocks joined to our all collection, transaction messages and block signatures now can join the block itself from which these uh, entities was produced. For example, look at the transactions and now if you want to uh, join a block attributes from which this transaction we can, for example, sequence number, again, the time. And now you see it right uh, part of my screen, related block attributes. And we can compare to the transaction now field, which must be equal to uh, block, again, your time. Also, we can join, for example, input message to the transaction and uh, go deeper to join block to which this input message belongs. Uh, so we expand navigation paths in our GraphQL language uh, um, more wider. And now, for example, we can join out messages. And for out message, we can join destination transaction of out message. And we can see the deep navigation on blockchain graph. And then we can uh, join again the next out messages. So we can investigate the blockchain and we can work over blockchain using the simple GraphQL language. And the blockchain is a good improvement to this. The next improvement is a more logical operator. Before the OR operator was introduced, our filters can combine only by end operator. So before we can't uh, perform a request on messages to request all messages for one account and input messages and output messages uh, in single request. For example, we can filter messages, uh, filter it by uh, source account or by destination account. So we will see all messages related to this account. Some messages is an uh, outcome and some is income messages. As we can see, I filter on this uh, 0CB. 0CB is source, so it's in outcome message. Here it's destination, so it's income message. It's a little improvement, but huge capability for future requests, for future filtering capabilities. Uh, that we can make one, one query. Before we must do several queries and then incorporate the result single list. And now we can just combine the, our condition with our operator. Here, in our example of our operator to collect messages between two accounts, the 841 and ADB accounts. There is all messages between these accounts in all uh, directions. And the last thing we have performed on this sprint is an aggregation queries. And now we can request from GraphQL server aggregated uh, field, something like, tell me please uh, count of uh, messages for count for, of transactions uh, for this account address. For example, we can aggregate transactions, specify filter, for example, by account address. Equal. I will install account address from previous. Okay, we are specify filter on transactions, and we must specify the fields on which we wanted to perform aggregations. We must specify a field and aggregation function. But if we specify aggregation function count, we can omit a field name. Oh yeah, there is conflict. As we can see, we have a 77 transaction for our account address. We can also request uh, several aggregation, can request aggregation for several fields in single aggregation request. For example, we can request minimum value for 
logical time field it's two we can also request a max it's a 551 all these aggregation values uh, were performed in single Aranga QL uh, request to Aranga database and uh, in single GraphQL requests. And here I written several examples for aggregation requests. For example, this is uh, a Zoom aggregation request for field value for all messages in the database. It's here. It's just a balance. It's not interesting. Here I'm uh, query aggregation, aggregated values for several fields of transactions. Okay, I think that's all.